The eyes to the right, 286. The nose to the left, 344. So the nose have it, the nose have it. Mr Speaker, I think it should be a matter of profound regret to every member of this House that once again we have been unable to support leaving the European Union in an orderly fashion. The implications of the House's decision are grave. The legal default now is that the United Kingdom is due to leave the European Union on 12 April, in just 14 days' time. That is not enough time to agree, legislate for and ratify a deal, and yet the House has been clear it will not permit leaving without a deal, and so we will have to agree an alternative way forward. The European Union has been clear that any further extension will need to have a clear purpose and will need to be agreed unanimously by the heads of the other 27 member states ahead of 12 April. It is almost certain to involve the United Kingdom being required to hold European parliamentary elections. On Monday, this House has the chance, and I say to all members, Mr Speaker, the responsibility to find a majority for a better deal for all the people of this country. Mr Speaker, the House has been clear this deal now has to change. There has to be an alternative found. And if the Prime Minister can't accept that, then she must go, not at an indeterminate date in the future, but now, so that we can decide the future of this country through a general election.